Kyle Busch famously hates Joey Logano. He hates Joey Logano like Stephen Walls hates a chain link fence, Ben Simmons hates a jump shot, or Texas hates having a competitive college football team. A few years ago, he punched Joey Logano in the face after the race at Las Vegas on Pitt Road. He just this year called Joey Logano two-faced back in February. And so on Thursday night, when Kyle Busch was running the SRX race, Joey Logano was up in the booth with Alan Bestwick on the call for ESPN. They decided to dial up Kyle Busch and talk to him during the race over the radio, which is something SRX does every single race. So when Joey Logano keyed it up to talk to Kyle Busch, yeah, Kyle's never one to mince words, right? You always know where you stand with Kyle, and it was no different when he was on live television Thursday night on ESPN. Take a listen real quick. Kyle Busch, Joey Logano up in the booth. You got me here. Yeah, a little busy. Uh, I figured that, and I figured I'm the person you would love to hear in your ear right now, so I'm here for you. I can help spot you along, but what I want to know is how hard are you pushing that thing right now? Are you playing a little cat and mouse with Brad out there? How much you got left? Yeah, definitely a little cat and mouse right now. You're just trying to modulate your gap, but, um, you know, hearing you on my radio, that fucking lights a fire under my ass. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll stay here as long as you need me. <laughs> well, you got Elio behind you. He's looking on the inside. He's there. He's tapping you. Hang on to her. When Kyle said, hearing you on my radio, that lights a fucking fire under my ass, that's absolutely hilarious. It's gold and it's Kyle Busch and he absolutely knew that they were on live television. He had to have because again, this is something SRX does every single week. Just last week, Clint Boyer was in the car and he was uh, talking live and they were spotting for him. So Joey Logano repaid the favor a little bit and spotted for Kyle Busch while Elio Castroneves passed him, something that hadn't happened up until that point. So I think Kyle maybe did get a little bit distracted by having Joey in his ear. Either way, a very funny exchange and at least AB and Joey Logano had a good laugh of it when Kyle said that because I think they also knew that was probably coming in a sense. Maybe not the way Kyle said it because again, they're on live television and it made it out over the air. So the delay absolutely did not work, which is not really a surprise, but also a little bit of a surprise. You can certainly expect there will be a delay going forward. But either way, very funny exchange and uh, something that, you know, SRX is entertainment first, right? Motorsport second. That's why they talk to these guys during the actual race. They'll dial up Tony Stewart and he'll be like, yeah, watch this as he tries to pass somebody. Kyle Busch is Kyle Busch. He's a competitive psychopath. In the, I mean that in the best way possible. All he wants to do is win, and he did. He went back to back in his two SRX starts this year. He's done now for the season with them, which is probably good for everybody else because he's the one of, if not the best stock car racer in the world right now, and has been for the better part of a decade almost. It, it's better that he's not in the series. Because if he was, he would probably win all six races and sweep the championship and, you know, that's that. And SRX, again, is an entertainment series first, motorsport series second. Having Kyle Busch go out and win all the races and stink up the show, that's not going to make a ton of people happy and want to tune in. But it was a great showing in Berlin last night. If you haven't been to an SRX race, I haven't because there hasn't really been one relatively close enough. Eldora coming up is semi-close, so maybe we'll make it all to that. But it looks like a great time. These local tracks absolutely packed out. They're on ESPN. It looks phenomenal on television. The racing is generally great. I do think there's at times that, you know, people bringing it back a little bit if they get out to too much of a lead and then, uh, you know, not wanting to run away with things. And I think Kyle is a perfect example of maybe doing that. Denny didn't really get the memo earlier in the year. But either way, really good, uh, really good race, really fun exchange. Going forward, though, I don't know who they are going to have in the booth for the final two races of the year, uh, which are both dirt tracks, uh, Eldora, and then I'm blanking on the one in Missouri. It used to be called Lucas Wilds. It's still called that. I'm not sure. Wheatland? Maybe. I have no idea. Either way, uh, I would love to have Kyle Busch in the booth for one of those and just have him try to dial somebody up and talk to them during the race. It would be even better if Joey Logano was in one of those races and they could do, you know, a role reversal and have it that way. Joey is just like, he's... Joey Logano outside the race car is not bad, right? Like, when he's in the booth with SRX, he's just like Joey Logano the dad. He has, you know, dorky little sayings and things like that. Joey Logano in the race car is a completely different story. He's an asshole, and I think he's the first person to admit that. Uh, so just a little bit of a role reversal, getting him in SRX at some point, whether he's allowed to do that. I guess he would be, right, since Joseph Newgarden has done it, and he's a Penske driver. There's no reason to think that uh, Logano can't do it as well. But he is pretty good on the broadcast, too. Maybe he should just retire from NASCAR Cup racing and just 
go move into the Fox booth or NBC and they can, you know, shoot Clint Boyer into the sun or um, just drop Jeff Burton off at the nearest rest area and have him walk his self back to North Carolina and Joey Logano can take their spot. Either way, uh, yeah, SRX continues to just be a fun Thursday night series, right? From 9 to 11, you know what you're going to get, two heat races, a main event, a feature, uh, maybe some comedy gold on the radio. We've now had it at two of the four races where it's been uh, relatively funny. It's very reminiscent of Matt Kenseth earlier in the year on the Fox broadcast uh, dialing up the radio and talking to Joe Logano uh, because clearly those two have a bit of a history as most of you are aware. So going forward and looking forward to the next two races in the SRX season that's going to finish it off. Six races goes by very quickly but I think it's good right it makes you wanting more and I don't know if they could really sustain a 10 race schedule or a 12 race schedule and uh, yeah it's quantity, it's supply and demand, right? Uh, you have a small quantity, but uh, good quality, people are going to want it. And that's what we have here with, with SRX. So Tony's done something uh, well, unlike his cup team, which can't get out of their own way at this point. Either way, SRX back on Thursday night, uh, coming up with Eldora, 9 o'clock ESPN. Like and subscribe to the channel. Follow me on TikTok at BreakHard, Instagram, Twitter, and Threads at BreakHardBlog.